Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, today I want to today we want to present about my business. Uh, my business title is Prepet Merepet Enterprise. My group member are Muhammad Zaim Rasdan bin Rosmadi, Ahmad Shahmi bin Badru Hisham, Muhammad Aizat bin Kamaru Zaman and Zarif Izham bin Zain bin Zainal. Now I want to pass to Aizat. So the first is for the executive summary. So for our objective is to, to provide delicious chip from the hand of the mother. The second is to highlight the quality of well construct chip that come from Batu Bahad. The third is to offer a low price range scripts chips. And for our mission is it is Krepek Merepek Enterprise mission to become a premier chip selling platform. This can be done by providing the viral chips on the market that want to try new chips product. So for the introduction, chip refer to a type of snack that is cut thinly and fried in three clips. Chips are made from various material and name according to the kind of material used to provide the chips. Traditional mission, put banana chips made from bananas and turmeric powder, salt, and sugar are among the ingredients. This project needs us to conduct an actual business for the enterprise that is BKP20802 project. The business is properly registered business with the company Commission of Malaysia CMM to generate profit. So we present the organization of the project. So for the company background, we name it as a Krepek and Merepek Enterprise. And we didn't have a registration number and also the registration date because we didn't we didn't take from the SSM. And the company register address is 2JK401 7 Lorong Usaha Sama, Kampung Parit Raja, Abdul Kadir. And then the key partner for this project is Ahmad Shami, Zaim Rashidan, Zaim Kamar Aizat Kamar Zaman and Zarif Izham. And for the organization chart. Ahmad Shahri is our CEO and I am the Operation Manager and Aizat Kamaru Zaman is Finance and Account Head and Zarif Izham as a Marketing Manager. So for the role of partner, Ahmad Shahri as a COO will lead the development of our business short and long term strategy. Maintain the awareness of competitive chip selling company around UTHM and Batu Pahak. Also set a strategic goal and making sure that they are measurable and describable. So me, as an operation manager, I will handle the tasks that are part of the manufacture of product and service. And then for Isaac, the finance, we distribute a business financial capital as it is accountable for budget, operation and assist the marketing management team by providing insight and financial advice. And then for the last one is Zarif Izaham as a marketing manager, we define a marketing strategy to support its overall objective. Okay, now uh, I'll be explaining about the SWOT analysis. So SWOT will be strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Okay, next. So as for our company strength, we will be providing delivery services uh, and top-notch high quality foods, and also cheap pricing, which is at a wholesale value. As for our company's uh, weaknesses, will be there will be many competitors, and we will be needing more investment our company. As for the opportunities, we will consider that uh, there are new customers from online channel and also social media marketing tool such as uh, TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. As for threats, uh, we will we we could say that there are rise of uh, raw material during the peak economy nowadays and they are demand are based on season such as uh, peak season so that will be the threat for our company's business okay next so now i'll be explaining regarding the business model canvas 
Okay. So our key partners for Kerepek Merepek uh, Enterprise will be uh, the suppliers. Okay, our key activity will be the dropship uh, and new marketing trending method. Uh, key resources is online platform. As for value proposition is additional income, new source of revenue, and also convenience for customers. Okay, as for customer relationship is uh, just a simple customer service. As for the channel, will be TikTok and Instagram for our marketing and our selling platform. Okay, for as for our customer segmentation, okay, there will be a customer and also our customer base where is uh, the mass market where focuses on a large group of customer without really distinguishing between different types of customer, and also to aims a uh, uh, satisfied set of broadly similar needs and problems. Okay, lastly, uh, as for the cost structures, okay, our business model is a supply chain that is, uh, that is mainly on cost and is a business that is value driven that focus on valued product. As for revenue stream is uh, based on commission per pack that will be divided among us four. Okay, next. So now for the project implementation, this is the schedule for our business uh, business company, our business enterprise. So we started on group formation. After that, uh, brainstorming idea on week three. After that, uh, moving on to define target customer. Then week four will be project planning and marketing planning. As for week five, confirmation of business. Week six, product marketing, run the business. And seven, eight, nine, ten, until week uh, 11. Okay, as for week 12, we started to uh, compile our final report from the draft uh, report. And now it's week 13, uh, we uh, will be submitting our final report for the company's progress. Okay, next. So, so this is our marketing platform and also and also where where we market it. Okay, firstly we do it in TikTok. Uh, we show the video and then uh, WhatsApp status for the platform for marketing marketing it. Next. Macam lekat lah, yo. Okay. So the next one is uh, operation. So firstly, we purchase and selling tickets online. Back, back, back. Operation, operation. So for the operation. Uh, the, the purchase and selling takes place online. Uh, firstly, we buy from Batu Pahar and then uh, we sell it around uh, UTHM and also other, other place for delivery. So based on the picture, uh, customer, customer will uh, choose based on the picture for the, for the list of product from WhatsApp message. And then we as a seller will check the inventory if the product is available or not. And then if the uh, if the product is available, we will uh, we will ask uh, address detail for the customer after setting the payment. It, uh, then we uh, we put in bubble wrap uh, the product, put in the bubble wrap and then put in a box. And then we use uh, JNT as a delivery courier. So for the COD, we don't need a bubble wrap. We just we just give it to them. Okay, next. 
Okay, now for the financial part. Uh, okay, so this is the cash flow projection of our company financial. Okay. All right. So as for the capital, uh, all of us uh, accommodate 100 ringgit each. So the total sum of the four of us is uh, 411 and 25 cent. Okay. So there, there'll be no loan for our current business because it's all our, it's all based on our starting capital of our own. Okay, so as for the sale for the first week uh, is uh, 250 ringgit. Same goes to the second week, third week and fourth week because this is actually our targeted sale for every week, including for the, the each of us. Okay. So the asset uh, we'll be using is the smartphone, only our smartphone. Okay, so the promotion will be cost uh, 50 ringgit as so as the raw materials. So as, as for the first week, the salary will be uh, 31 ringgit and 25 cent for, uh, for each of us. Okay, so moving on to the total. Total would be, uh, as for the capital is 400. Okay, and uh, for the sale would be 1,000 for a month. Uh, that is not uh, divided yet for four person. Okay, as for the uh, salary, uh, clean salary for us is 125 ringgit. Okay, and uh, that one is each lah, 125 ringgit each for every one of us. So the cash balance is 756 ringgit and 25 cent. Okay, moving on. Next, all right. So, uh, income statement per month. Since I would say it's one thousand, so our cost of goods sold would be uh, only two hundred. So basically, our profit is eight hundred ringgit lah. Uh, as for our salary, will be hundred and twenty five ringgit uh, per person. Uh, so basically, after minus, uh, after deducting promotion and our depreciation value. Our net profit is basically 633 ringgit from selling crepe only. Okay, next. Okay, now is for the balance sheet asset. Okay, so this is the cash. Okay, uh, assets, total asset is uh, 1044 ringgit 25 cents. And as for the capital paid, is our own money, 411 and 25 cents. So this is accumulated profit, 633. And as for, and as for the liability and equity is 1,044 ringgit and 25 cents. So this is our balance sheet companies, which is uh, Crepe, Merepe Enterprise. Okay, next. Now, I want to talk about uh, challenges. First challenge that we we meet is delivery problems. Uh, we will face delivery problem, especially if the customers are living in remote areas. Time constraint also cause us to have question in delivering product, especially if the customers want their product deliver deliver quickly. Moreover, we do this business online part time while studies. We will face problems in dividing time to ship the product. Uh, for the second challenge is for getting customers. When we do fewer ads, this occurs. After doing a lot of promotion back, little by little, the company began to expand sales. This also occurs be because there are many rivals out there who sell the same thing as us. So we need to do ads that will draw clients to manage, to manage them. Uh, for the last challenge is financial report. Um, the uh there is a financial financial challenge this includes capital problems cash flow problems budget problems payment problems account management problems and other additional costs a well-established business is one that 
has no money leakage problem each financial transaction needs to be well recorded and match with the d account report without proper knowledge of financial management it is not easy to manage it well so for the conclusion this business project has a immense immense potential to become a successful business this business operate for 12 weeks we start with group formation and end with the submission of the report there are many difficulties in creating a new business which is creating the ssm account which is you must to uh, daftar first and then we go to the ssm to get the the certificate and then the promoting the business and run the business which is uh, neither of us have any experience in business so it's quite difficult for us and then starting a business is not an easy task we need to have passion courage and enthusiasm to operate a business because it's business we must know how to handle our staff customer and customer how to promote our product and sacrifice our time to operate the business which is our study our study time and the lastly in the end we managed to operate the business mostly without any major problem so this all from us thank you dah